to better illustrate the points I want to convey in this lesson and how many people are not aware of how they are sabotaging their own best efforts at training their horse, I thought I would first ride a filly in the wrong way and show you how the little things make a big difference. So please excuse me, this is not how I would normally ride a horse. Please notice how I am forcing the filly, especially to her weak side, and her reaction, a pointed nose, ducking her head, swishing her tail, which is a sign of displeasure, and an angry body language, and then see the difference when I ride her correctly at the end. Let's take a few minutes and explore the psychology behind training horses and how you need to equip yourself with the knowledge of how to deal with different situations as they arise because your horse, remember, will never be the same from one day to the next. Horses, like humans, have good days and bad days. And if there's a bad day, you need to try and figure out a different way of approaching the problem and not just go on bashing your head and the horse's head against a brick wall. You have to also be very sensitive as to what is causing the problems. Some horses have a very sensitive skin, so fly issues might be a problem. How does one get around that? One can ride the horse really early in the morning before the flies become a problem so that you have the horse's attention. If it's busy swatting flies and reacting to the touch of those flies on the skin, its concentration is not with you. Remember also that horses have a strong and a weak side, just like humans being left or right-handed. And all the suppling lessons and groundwork you have done will be negated if you try and force the horse to perform on its weak side as it performs to its strong side. You have to actually give it a bit of a chance and teach it slowly, step by step, to perform to that side. The other thing you have to really pay attention to is horses like humans accumulate stress. There could be the fact that it's in a paddock with a dominant horse that is giving it a problem. It can be that, as I've said, the flies are hassling it. It could be that it's afraid of traffic if you take it out on the roads. And then you arrive with your own stresses and you try and ride the horse and you want to teach it that lesson that day. And with all the best intentions, you are not going to be able to teach that lesson if the horse is not in a space to actually learn the lesson. So you have to be more flexible in this and figure out on the day what you can teach the horse. Okay, so let's look at a different approach. This filly is skin sensitive. She is young, green and weak to her right side and reacts badly to a noseband. Here she is, ridden early in the morning when there are no flies, without the flash noseband and with me coaxing her to her weaker side to give her confidence. She looks like a different horse. Take a look. Here you can see her moving forward so much more freely and the stops with no ducking of the head, a slightly open mouth, but one can compensate with a lighter touch on the reins there. She's moving backwards very easily without opening her mouth and yawing there. And very nice and lateral now, confident to move forward without that nose band. You can see her tail is quiet because there are no flies worrying her. A really nice stop, tucking her back legs underneath her, backing up easily. And here I am coaxing her round to her weak side. And just by slow repetition of this, she'll get it better and better until it's no longer an issue. And here you can see me doing some leg yields and starting a little bit of suppling and helping her to turn by loading for that turn first, by putting the head to that side and then changing my leg aids and getting her to turn off my legs rather than my hands. First to her strong side to give her confidence. And now you can see me swapping to that weaker side. 
You can see my right leg working there to keep her moving off it and then swapping. And she's not finding it quite as easy to that side yet. But there she is responding well to that leg yield and that turn starting to look a whole lot easier for her. There she's starting to really get it and starting to come back very nicely to that right side. So if you want horses with good mouths that stop to light rein pressure, if you want horses that are willing and calm and enjoy what they do, you have to be prepared at any sign the horse gives you that it is confused or afraid to back off and regress a few steps for it to regain its confidence and not just myopically try to teach it what you wanted to teach it on that day whether the horse is ready or not and you can see that on today with me riding this horse correctly she has really gained confidence and is doing everything beautifully the way I wanted to do it.